Hi, my name is Randy Carter. I'm a technology specialist with Anderson and Vreeland, and today I'll be demonstrating the proper technique for setting up a narrow web ink station. All right, the first step is to choose a doctor blade to put into this station. There are several different types. Uh, this is a white steel, and there are several different edge profiles that we'll choose. I have an example here of a stepped and a bevel. Uh, the step has a smaller tip, and the bevel has a angle cut tip. We're going to use the angle cut tip for this particular application. So we choose our blade. It is pre-cut to the correct length for this press. And all I need to do is make sure that I have my angle against the analog roll. I will take a little bit of grease to coat the edge of the blade. This helps us prevent ink from backing up into the chamber or into the blade. And it just helps keep clean up just a little bit easier. So I'll smear a little bit of grease on both sides of the blade. All right, so once we have a little bit of grease, we'll seat our blade into our holder. Make sure it's square, make sure it's adjusted. And then we'll use our Allen wrench and tighten the screws hand tight starting from the center out. Now we're gonna put our blade into our holder slip it in to engage the screws. And when you're tightening these screws, you wanna make sure that you tighten down evenly so that you have an even gap all the way across the roll. It's very important we have even pressure. We now have our doctor blade holder in place. We have our analog roll in the press. We have our ink pan with stopper in the press. It's time to slide the unit into position and lock it into the press. Now that we've locked our ink unit into place, it's time to add the ink. On this particular unit, they will notice that there's a small round dimple toward the bottom of the pan that will indicate the maximum fill level. We do not want to exceed that level with our ink. And begin our pour. All right, we have our ink level full. Now we want to engage our idle drive. The ink is now coming up from the fountain roller onto the analog roller, and we need to adjust the pressure between those two rolls. To do that, I will use these two knobs here, and I'll adjust them until it's even on both sides. It gives me a clean wipe all the way across, and then I will back out just a little bit until it floods. Once the pressure is adjusted there, I want to adjust my doctor blade. I want to look at the sheen going across the doctor blade and I'm going to incrementally add pressure to the blade until I get an even clean wipe. If one side begins to shine before the other, we need to back out and go back in evenly. We now have our plate cylinder installed and we will demonstrate the proper technique for setting an impression on a narrow web press. To begin with, we will use a press speed of about 50 feet per minute idle speed. And we have two adjustments that we'll be performing. This is our plate to analog roll impression, and we also have our plate to uh, substrate impression. <clears throat> to begin with, we'll start the press. And we'll begin adjusting our impression. What we want to start with is add enough analog roll to plate cylinder impression until we have an inked up plate. At that point, we will look for print on the substrate. If we don't have print, we'll add impression. What we want is a nice print to back off of the analog roll until it breaks and shows a feathery edge. And then we'll add evenly back to both sides until we have clean print. Once we have clean print with the analog roll, we will start with the plate cylinder with the same procedure. We will back off until it breaks print and you will notice a grainy appearance and we'll come back in evenly on both sides until we have a clean print again. This ensures that we have the minimum amount of impression for quality print.